What a cracking fight this is. It really is. Yeah, Mac McDonnell has had a couple of toughies. Ian Napper wasn't easy. A lot of people didn't think he deserved the decision anyway. But that's in the books, so it's academic. And then Stefan Jamoy, the Belgian, rocked him more than once. So he's weathered a few storms. And now the onus is on Hall to uh, find a response. I think Hall should be throwing your punches, twos and threes. Single punches. Not really going to impress too much. McDonald always looks busy. He's won a couple of important fights on his work rate that impresses the judges. So Hall maybe is going to have to put punches out in combinations. the will to win that these guys are showing here. They're giving it everything this early in the fight. Oh, good defensive work for McDonald, but still but under Hall, pressure. Hall keeps him on the ropes, won't let him out of the Hall corner. And this is a good spell of pressure from Stuart Hall. His game plan isn't changing. McDonald is trying to box his way out of trouble. And he's going to have to do this for 12 rounds because this is Stuart Hall's game plan. They are both landing some solid shots. Yep, Hall, no success when he puts punches together. He's not landing with the single jabs. Well, this is why you bring in sparring partners if you're Jamie McDonnell. You bring in guys like James Ancliffe, the uh, tough Scotsman who just comes forward all the time. They knew what they were getting with Stuart Hall and sparred accordingly. And here comes Hall again. Yep, Hall has the solid look back again. Good right hand from him. Yep, this is where he wants McDonnell. He wants to pin him and force him to exchange punches. Nice tight defence from Hall. Oh, this is really tremendous action. Great response from McDonnell. And catching him with a nice little left uppercut there as well. I think Hall felt a body shot there. So I'm pulling the elbow down. Yep, yep, he's still tightening up, doesn't want another one. Well, it's not often you see Hall taking a backward step and he was forced into it. This is another good spell and another strong finish from the European champion. Great round, really good stuff. Ed Robinson and Spencer Oliver, I know, are watching this, guys. What are you seeing? A really exciting scope, Spencer. How are you scoring it, first well, of all? First of all, Ed, what a contest and what an exciting start to the season. This fight, this fight really is all in the balance. I've got Hall 3-2 up in the moment. I'm going for um, quantity rather than quality. McDonald's the one doing all the work, slipping and sliding, but just out of range for me. And there's a real solid um, look about Hall. And for me, that's just stealing it. It's difficult to judge some of the rounds, though. Well, Ed, they really are that tight, aren't they? That's what I said to you. McDonald's the one of the busier of the two. Hall's the one with the solid look. I mean, as I said, this fight is in the balance, and I think there's a lot more chapters to go. Hall's never been 12 rounds before. No, he hasn't, but he still looks very strong. He's not wasting any energy at all. McDonald's doing a lot of work in there. This is going to be very interesting. Thanks, Spencer. Yeah, thanks, guys. Very interesting indeed. Spencer has Hall with his nose in front. McDonald's had a good couple of last two rounds. So I'm sure there are people sitting at home thinking McDonald's edged in front. So here we are, getting to the halfway point of a fight that was 50-50 on paper, and there's still almost nothing to separate them. Well, I can't split them. I have two rounds apiece with the last round, even I couldn't split them the last round. Some good solid punches also for McDonald's, good body stuff from him. So you just wonder if one of these guys is going to start thinking, I'm going to have to drop the pace down a little bit here, I can't do this for 12. If that happens, I don't expect it to be, to be McDonald. Getting the jab off McDonald. Yeah, he's landing first, throwing more punches as well. As Hall's looking to unload with the big right hands. That's back to what you were saying earlier, Jim, that you'd like to see more combination work from Stuart Hall. 
Yeah, but I think McDonald's too quick on his feet, too sharp to pin the single punches. You're going to have to be prepared to miss with a couple, put them together. See, I mean, it's constant movement for McDonald. Uses up a lot of steam, but at the same time, he's difficult to pin with solid punches. Yeah. Growing in confidence, you get the sense here, Jamie McDonald. As we're waiting for round six to, to really catch fire. To cage you on this, they're both really having to think about things here. A bit of threatening going on here, as opposed to producing. McDonald getting a few of the, the long jabs home. But not, not an awful lot of clean punches landed so far in this one. Well, it's a real thinking fight now as much as anything, isn't it? Because they really are in many ways cancelling each other out and adjusting on the fly. The Hall's coming forward still, but we're not seeing that intensity that we saw in a couple of the previous rounds. McDonald having plenty of time, he still seems happy on the move. Nice little bust there from Hall. You always get the feeling that one big shot from Hall could slow McDonald right down, and then we've got a very different fight. But to get that, he's got an A throw and then B land. He just threw some punches there that connected with nothing. And he has missed with a lot of shots, Stuart Hall. And just a little sense here that McDonald is starting to grow in confidence. He's taken some decent Hall shots. He's taken in now, McDonald. Them. Yep, yep. And he's starting to fancy it a little bit. And if he does, Hall is in a bit of trouble. Very well around the ring there, Jamie McDonald. Hall looking a little bit one-paced. All right. Relax and box and make that. Get a big blow, come on, mate. Make We're in the win. championship fight here, come on. Big blow. Don't force it. You can't him with jab, you can't him over the top, you're hitting to body. You aren't forcing it, mate. Tap, tap jab like that, speed jab, you know, speed jab. When well, McDonald landing more. Paul throwing an awful lot, but just not landing. But what a tremendous battle this is. Every bit as good as we reckoned it would be. I just felt in that round, McDonald just dug in a little bit more, stayed with Hall, which he hasn't always been doing. So the first signs of Hall, some of Hall's punches looked a little bit tired in that round. And look at that, that is a shift in the market. McDonald has come in and Hall has drifted out. And I must admit, you get the sense the last two or three rounds that McDonald is starting to uh, find his range a little bit. And I, I bet you anything, if we ask Spencer Oliver for his assessment now, he might have changed it a little bit. Jim knows it's close as well, because nobody's running away with this one, but yep. Jim, I think your scorecard reflects what we've seen in the last two or three rounds. Yeah, but I have McDonald one point, and I'm keeping in mind I couldn't split them in the fifth, so it could be wider or it could be closer if the referees found out a winner of that round. But I just feel that McDonald looks the, little, the more comfortable of the two. Hall forcing for his good shot for McDonald, and he knows it. Yeah, he caught him off balance. But Hall responds. If there's one thing we know for certain, McDonald is not going to take Stuart Hall out with a single punch. He will have to wear him down if he wants the stoppage. That's the way to do it. Amazed at the movement and McDonald is just never still for a second. He's all over the place, which is causing problems for Hall to pin him with a powerful shot. His album is low yet, and uh, McDonald's showing out to that and then getting on with business. Well, both landing one. big shots, yeah. but I think the better one was from Hall. And Hall needs a real good spell here to get himself back into this. But he's not able to stay on top of McDonald, is he? All still coming forward, but he's chasing a little bit now. And he's out of range as well. Good body shot, like digging right hand from McDonald. Yeah, I think of the two, Hall is maybe the one who's slowed down a little bit. Maybe not the same venom in his work that we were seeing. 
McDonald keeping it busy, another round, not a lot to split them, punch-wise. Well, the, the, the Stuart Hall kind of forcing, to, trying to get himself into range to throw effective punches. I think the real big unknown going into this fight, Jim, was could Jamie McDonald take a Stuart Hall shot? Because Hall is a big hitter, everybody knows that. All his British title fights have come, finished inside the distance. And the first couple of rounds, he landed a few, and here he is landing a few more now, McDonald. But Hall landed a few, and McDonald took him. And I think that made his confidence grow. He thought, I can take this. I think McDonald's defence was good then. He was slipping, sliding, blocking. I like McDonald again so far in this round. He's just putting so much into this. He's given that little bit extra of himself. Well, in the battle of technique versus power, the balance of power is tilting clearly towards Jamie McDonnell now. But when you've got the kind of punch that Stuart Hall's got, things can change very quickly. Is he edging ahead, you wonder? shots have really been uh, coming in from McDonnell these last two or three rounds. And I tell you, in the summer weather and in this kind of battle, body punches can have a big input in who comes out on top here. They're so, so energy sapping. Now, I wonder what's happening in Stuart Hall's mind at the moment, because his mindset was... He's just been told they need a big round, so they know things have maybe slipped away from a little yeah. bit in the last couple of rounds he's been out. What? Some of his own work is just looking a little bit jaded. And if you're Stuart Hall, your game plan was to wear Jamie McDonnell down, and that is not happening. And I wonder if there's a few seeds of doubt have crept into the minds of the uh, British champion. Because the longer this fight is going, the more McDonnell looks comfortable. And Hall can't win if McDonnell is comfortable. See, I think uh, Hall has come in with a plan of hurting McDonnell. And that's never good, because you can be outworked when you're looking for big punches all the while. You're showing too much patience, throwing single shots. Oh, really, missing badly there, Stuart Hall. But before you give up on uh, Stuart Hall, don't forget he was trailing to Ian Napper. And Napper had to heat exhaustion, it was uh, officially cited as, but Hall would say he wore him down. But do you know what? Seeing the couple of hard 12 rounders that, that Jamie McDonnell has come through, he's taken over in the later stages. He hasn't been ahead and clung on by the skin of his teeth. He has tremendous natural stamina. And he is looking the more comfortable of the two at the moment. Just he was the one who answered there, he was the one who stepped right back up to the plate. In the earlier rounds, it was Hall who was doing that. I was just about to say, Jim, that was a big right hand Stuart Hall landed, and McDonnell responded immediately. Oh, Gets a beautiful uppercut in there as well. And a nice right cross as well, and he's giving him a bit of a lesson here. And Hall is forced backwards, and a bit of bravado sinks in. But Hall, right now, is getting outboxed, and McDonnell knows it. You know, I, I was saying maybe a little bit harsh with McDonnell, that his performances in the past have been good, but not world-class. But I tell you, that was an impressive little burst we saw there from him. And the way he's producing at such an important stage in the fight, you know, bodes well for the future. So this is a great performance in this round for McDonnell, and showing Hall, everything. And Hall's getting ragged. Punch is missing a long, long way now. Some crude swings. No, but I think the snap and the venom has left Hall's work, which is a big problem, because, as I've said a couple of seconds ago, this guy is terrific, McDonnell, over the 12-round distance. No question that the better work is coming again. A right hook to the body from McDonnell, and Hall just missing and missing and missing. See, that's the sensible tactics, too, for McDonnell. He probably feels he's done enough to win the round, now he's just making them miss, not doing anything stupid, then fighting in little bursts, that's what quality fighters do, they fight in little bursts, and that's what he's done in this round. They can throw the odds at us now, Jim, I bet you see a big, big swing in the market. Hall has hit so much fresh air in this round, he's just lost his method, he's lost his plan, lost his composure, the solid look that I commented on earlier is not there, Oh, another beauty, another beauty right.